our first animation live stream. My name is Rick Schutte. I uh, was the uh, live, the live, the lead animator on Sprite Fright. And today we'd love to, uh, yeah, to do some animation live. Let me show you guys and turn off Rex. What is the plan here? So we have Rex coming into screen, do a nice pirouette and get out of there. All right, let's get started. And I'm just, you know, if any of you guys have watched my, or read the article about the animation tips on the Blender Cloud website, one of them is animate drunk, polish sober. And that's what I'm gonna do now without beer. It's gonna be just, you know, me playing around with the rig and see what comes out. So here we go. So we come into screen here, roughly around there. And then go here. We go down. There's a little bit of a down movement here. So uh, I'd like to plan that a little bit further here. OK, let's see what we got right out of the gate. Turn off this sketch here. OK. Going up a bit more. So let's work on that spin, because uh, that's that's a question here. So we have that pose, and now don't be afraid, because we're still kind of animating drunk here. Don't be afraid to kill. <laughs> that's. Uh, Oh man, we're gonna get banned of YouTube. No, don't be afraid to kill your keyframes. All right, delete. It's all gone. Ah, there we go. Let me turn on my sketch again. Right around there. So it jumps up, big jump, continues. Let's make, I'm just looking for roughly an arc. So go up here, a little bit up here. Go a bit more down. And then this one probably go down a little bit faster. Push behind there and there. Catches up. <laughs> it looks a bit, it still looks a bit broken, but I, I do feel like we got something here. I'm looking for um, general shapes that kind of flow into one another to mimic, or like to accentuate the motion. So let me actually turn off bones here. So when we come in, I mean, we go into this, this kind of squash that's happening right here. And I, we're, we can push this way beyond, of course. Now we go into a stretch. We settle into something a little bit more like that. Go back into a stretch. And again, this is blocking, so we'll push this around. Push, then go down, and then really, you know, go back into the stretch. Even more stretch. And it, again, I would love pushing this into the, uh, sorry, even more stretch, even more squash, pushing it up to this nice little quirk, like, what do you call it, twist. And then right here, you do, you also go into uh, squash again. So it's finding the contrast of motion, and if I turn off the character, maybe this look weird. It does. <laughs> but you see, like, I'm looking for the overall shape to, to um, uh, to deform in a very dynamic flow instead of perfectly being bound to to body mechanics. And here, I want this hand to be kind of leading the uh, motion upwards. So. It's already the, so what I'm looking for here is the motion. So from here, 
let me get the annotation tool I want the hand to kind of make this trajectory so on the next frame uh, it's going down a bit but it's like it make the arc up we're breaking the rig once again let's move this back a little bit and then I'm screwing up the rig here am I not Demeter is crying right now. The rigor. <laughs> How do you even animate? Let's see what we got here. Let's play and actually join. So this is what we end up in, well, I mean, two and a half hours, let's say. This is always a scary part where you basically have all your poses kind of set up and you want to convert that to spline keys. Only the body for now, select everything, hit T, and then I can, from constant, I'll go to Bezier, Bezier or whatever. All right, this is always cringing. So let's see what we have here. Yeah, and you see like the, I mean, um, it's uh, it's all there. You see the curves are working. It's a bit linear and floaty at, some, at times where the computer is just simply in betweening. So some of the s sections we want to retime a little bit, clean up those curves and then uh, push poses even further. Look at the actual graph here and you can see that already happening here quite clearly I'm just looking at the Y right now but you see like it's, ha it's ha had it has some sort of a flat tangent and then goes up again and it's it's not very very nice so just wanna amp it up a bit we go down and then here I just want to push it down a little bit more just to and then we go up and then from here, the velocity is quite steep. I do want to actually continue that a little bit more. And then, you know, make that arc a little bit more, a little bit more um, accurate as of physics. Like if you have a bouncing ball, you do want to reduce the velocity over time and then suddenly gravity kicks in and kind of pushes it down again. So it's going up. Same thing, it's a bit wobbly here. So uh, you can also, you know, delete some keyframes simply to get things a bit smoother. I mean, whatever takes it there. Jump, uh, let's go a bit more down. Like that. And it holds there. And I do like the fact that we're, we're exaggerating the hang time, so. But these keys are not there, I mean, for any reason. So let's, it goes down. A bit more. Okay. Let's see. So what's always nice to kind of think about is to overlap your actions. So in this case, I try to lead with this foot and that kind of makes the animation more dynamic and more natural instead of moving everything down at the same time. So you want to, it does get as a little hiccup here though. So let me see if I can get that out of there. So I, I, I'm looking for, for that and that's the same thing what I do here I go with the, the body up first and then the rest is following it gives it gives a nice squash and stretch element to the whole uh, motion I push this arm out of its I'm, I'm breaking the rig here we don't see it uh, hopefully there 
And I basically take these controls, turn off my stretch, and rotate it the other way. Right here, I going mental, guys. Going mental, and you're like, "What? <laughs> Gotta be kidding! What are you even doing?" And then I say, "Wait," and we want to continue that trajectory. Maybe scale it down a bit. And the trick is, with smears like this, you don't want to see them when you play it. You want to feel it, OK? I don't mind about this area. We'll fix that later. And I don't mind about what's going on here. I, I'm looking at my camera view. That's that's holy. That's what what's going to end up showing on the screen. All right, you see those arms spinning there. I do, I do want to break those arms more. <laughs> uh, I really want to have the feeling of of a um, screwdriver. So I, I want to cross those arms, and I, I just do this frame by frame. I don't want to go into curves or anything. I'm just getting there by just muscling through and kind of get nice shapes that flow well. Now, animating hair or any additional objects is basically following um, the motion dictated by the parent or by the initial force, which is Rex's head. So I gr basically grab the FK bones like this, and I start animating them. Uh, and then I'll, I'll adjust those keys later on. We come in. And it's already having a little bit of speed, so we lift it up, put a key down. And here, it's coming down like that. It goes down, so that means that it's dragging a bit. So we push it up a little bit like that. OK, we could even stretch it a little bit there. And then right here, it turns its head. But we, dr we drag it a little bit, so we push it down like this. more uh, following right and here there's that like little twist and I'm not a fan of that so comes down same twist it's a bit weird so just adjusting the pose there again this is not the greatest Rick uh, it's been slapped on <laughs> for this video so it's a custom made especially for you guys and then a little bit of stretching on this last bone here let's see okay I think we're pretty much to the end um, <clears throat> let's take a look Yeah, that's again. Give me one more day. <laughs> Little tiny tweaks here and there, but I'm pretty happy how this uh, turned out. Um, some some fun, um, uh, slow and fast motion going on, and actually that first jump going backwards is basically a big antic to the turn. So now it's fun to actually go back to our initial planning or the sketch to see what was the initial idea here. And yeah, it's uh, the thing that I changed is the end. It felt a bit too chaotic to actually have him turn around because I didn't uh, like 
came out nicely with with the end there, um, and then then make that turn quick in the end before leaving the screen was a bit uh, it felt a bit un unclear, a bit hard to read. So that's why we went for a simple like backwards exit exit. There's a gray background, by the way, but uh, other than that, it's it's fun. All right. Thanks, guys. Um, yeah, I hope you liked it. Facial animation we'll do in another shot where facial animation is actually more uh, apparent. And um, I'll see you next time.